Things were going well with Operation Big Wave. Then everything fizzled out when that Phantom Ruby kicked in. That fake shadow was created using the Phantom Ruby's power, right? Even if it's a virtual reality projection, it's as strong as the real shadow. Rouge, have you found the intel I was looking for? No, not yet. But I have reports that Eggman's database is located at the chemical plant. If we can check that out, we might find something there. That sounds like a promising lead. We have to figure out the secret behind Infinite's power and virtual reality. Tails, can you handle this? Got it. I'll take Sonic. I mean the other Sonic with me and head to the chemical plant. Spoilers, this is probably one of the worst levels for uh, classic Sonic in the game. Seriously, because um, it is already a remake of a classic stage that was already in Sonic Generations. And now we get one that um, has worse physics than Generations. I mean... Classic Sonic's momentum doesn't even let him go over the ramp, seriously. It's kind of like the anti-version of Sonic 4. Seriously, his jump is okay though, I'll give him that, but nothing much else. And another thing of note, this is also um, got an even worse reputation in terms of uh, musically speaking, because, I mean, not only did... Um, Generate, um, the generations get a much better remix of Chemical Plant, but um, so did Mania, especially Act 2, if you ask me. Um, but here, yeah, this just feels like I am listening to, dare I even say it, the uh, Lego Sonic Dimensions version of the of Chemical Plant. Seriously, you know how um, with that, le that game, we got cheap ripoffs for, say, like, um, Ice Cap Zone. Because they were able to use the Michael Jackson music. Well, here is similar. It's just the, the composer's different because of the fact that um, uh, they can't use Masato Nakamura's music. Which they, which seemingly T Lopes could in Mania. Seriously, but never mind. Uh, the other thing of note, if you do drown here, um, it does not play the, um, dare I say, actually plays the Mega Drive version, which, fine, fine with me, um, it's just that in, um, Generations they use the Dreamcast music, which is very jarring. Why they didn't use the, um, why they just didn't use the instruments for, uh, the drowning music in, um, used here. Albeit how, how, albeit how teeny it is, I don't know, but yeah. But this is basically a worse version of Chemical Plant, that's basically what I'm saying. Um, I don't know if there are any grabbers here. There is a Mega Mac, I will give him that, but... Um, yeah, no... Um, not much else. Um, as I say. And sometimes, uh, with certain sections, that one I just went through before it filled up with the purple water here, um... Seemingly the uh, um, just fill up. I, I can't even speak properly here because of that. And apparently I drowned. Yeah. Don't know if you actually see the counter because that was a thing in. Um, there I see OG chemical plants and even in generations. Um, seriously, Sonic Team were able to implement that a lot better than this. Seriously, they don't do it here, they just have it, you rely on the music. Um, and given that I'm commentating over this, I do not know that. Obviously, when I was playing this, I, I would have known that Sonic would have drowned, but... No, not here, it seems. I did not see the counter. Okay, then we're back, and this area is new. Seriously, um, I didn't... I don't think there were any currents in, even in the... Um... um there I say generations version of chemical plant, but yeah. But there you go. And at the very end, there's the sign. So yeah. But that was chemical plant with classic Sonic. Not one of my favorites, shall we say? Whew. So, this is where the database is. 
Hold on a sec, while I access the data from this computer. Okay, failed battle plans, robot designs. Wow, he's got like 10 terabytes of selfies. So where does he keep the... Found it! Virtual reality weapon, the Phantom Ruby. that takes control of people's visual and depth perception to feed false information to the brain, creating a new reality for them. Like a dream so real, if you bump yourself in it, your sleeping self will bruise? It's hard. Eggman experimented with lots of prototypes and then incorporated the final version into Infinite. If I'm reading this data correctly, then there might be a weakness. This is huge! Let's get this information back to the others. I don't like sitting on the bench, but there's nothing to do till Tails gets back. Way to jinx it! Metal Sonic has been spotted in the city! Is it another fake? Why would they bother making a fake out of something that already isn't real? Couldn't they just build more? Either way, it's getting wrecked. Let's go, partner. Spoilers, it is another fake! Yeah, we know the drill by now, Sonic. Seriously, um, this is another example of a level that could have been great if it weren't for the fact that uh, this game is on autopilot, as we'll see from the beginning, because we're just running along this stretch of road, get interrupted by a death egg robot, or at least that's what this game calls it anyway, um, and then we get thrust into, dare I say it, a, um, uh, an active time event, seriously. That is a thing. Or oh, a quick time event, anyway. And what we have to do is just press the button at the correct time uh, to avoid it. This could have been decent. This could have been actually a decent mini boss, but no. This isn't the boss we're fighting. Oh no. Instead, the rookie is having to um, um, do a double homie attack right through the thing. Um, I'm guessing that's a Giga Drill Break! And then we're sent down into the sewers where we will eventually run into Metal Sonic. Um, and he's absolutely huge. And seemingly because um, Sega like the night like uh, Stardust Speedway so much, at least dare I say, they gave us a remix of the US version, which was already a, ver a thing in, uh, dare I say, um, in generations, of course, as an unlockable tune. Seriously. Granted, I, I will say I do actually like an Ichi Turquoise vo version a bit more uh, than the Generations version, which is weird because uh, that one did have June Sonoi on his guitar. Um, but anyway, um, with this one, um, I've actually equipped the, um, um, dare I say, the Burst Whisper to deal with all those projectiles that Metal Sonic um, brings up and everything. Um, so yeah, but well, yeah, and, and other than that, this is just an underwhelming boss, seriously. The way you defeat him is the same way you defeated um, Infinite with Sonic. Basically, you just spam the living crap out of the homie attack. The only time you have to use anything else is to deal with uh, Metal Sonic's projectiles, as I say, with the thing. And that isn't always the thing. Sometimes Metal Sonic will try and use his charge move, but... Looks really weird in 3D compared to 2D. Seriously, in Generations, when we were fighting him with classic Sonic, um, that was all in 2D. There were no 3D sections, save for maybe the cutscenes, but yeah, other than that, um, nothing too bad at all. So yeah. Well, that's uh, the Metal Sonic boss fight. So both only Metal Sonic and Zavok get boss fights. Chaos and Shadow, um, aside from the fan boss fight that, we, that I showed earlier, um, that is the thing. I, and apparently you can actually damage it with the Burst Whisper. In the very end you do a double boost, which doesn't even matter because of the physics. The only time I think it does matter that when you have to do it correctly is on the final boss which I'll get to eventually. But yeah, that was Metal Sonic. Really underwhelming. Uh, this could have been a lot better. Hell, the whole level could have been a lot better. And I could have just put the Metal Sonic boss fight as just a, as a boss, just like with the, some of the other bosses. 
But anyway, onto the cutscene, I guess. Black off. Hey, that was great. We're like a well-oiled machine, fighting a well-oiled machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs>